guys welcome back to miss t's doll room and today we're going to do a little more unpacking of my fashion royalty dolls and the first thing i wanted to start with is this lovely lady right here she is power source darla daily and she came from one of the um grab boxes at the convention one year when they did all those itbe which stands for integrity toys basics dolls so this is Miss Lovely Darla, and she has like this uh, almost auburn hair, long wavy hair, gorgeous doll. And I have her wearing some uh, Barbie platform sandals, wedge heel sandals, excuse me. And the dress is a live doll dress that fits the little uh, Poppy Parker bodies and new face bodies. Those dolls can wear the live doll clothes. So I just wanted to show you this lovely lady. She's a very um, wonderful version of the Darla Daily, the uh, 2.0 skull. All right, let's move her to the side. And then we have the lovely Kiki Adeze. She's from the Meteor line. She was the debut Kiki doll. And I did a video on her, but a lot of people wanted to see a close-up of her details. So, here's your close-up. Here's those fabulous suede boots. Her lovely purse. And check out that manicure. There you go. And then the bracelet she's wearing. See if I can get it to turn around. Oops. Sorry about that. We'll get you a shot of that bracelet. And here's the bracelet. And her earrings. And it looks like she's got a little dust on her face, so please excuse that. Her dust. And then her original hairstyle this long curly hair natural hair love that so that is Miss Kiki and her fabulous manicure let's see if I can get you a good shot of that all right let's put her to the side and this is Miss Zuri from that same meteor collection and you know the jewelry on these dolls, excuse me, the jewelry on these dolls really stand out. Here we go. See the necklace and those fabulous earrings. And then she has this wonderful multicolored first stole. It's like a blush, taupe, brown, purple colors in that. In that. And then a suede purse with a chain detail handbag and these fabulous intricate shoes <laughs> I laugh because it was a time getting those shoes on her and then her hair is like this black and brown mix and with hair like that you just fluff it with your fingers you do not try to comb that stuff and this is what the side looks like. All right. And one second. Get the next doll. Here's my lovely Midas Touch Poppy Parker. She still has her original curls, although some of the curls have fallen over a period of time and she's wearing a sparkle girls fashion that I thought a little bohemian style fashion that I thought was so cute on her but look at that face is she not gorgeous so I usually only collect the African American poppies and some of their clothes but lately they've had a couple of the Caucasian girls of course I think all of them are beautiful but frankly I just can't afford to collect each and every one of them so I just satisfied myself with getting all the African-American ones 
they usually do one per collection so I can try to keep up with that there's still a few that on my list that I don't have but you know they'll come to me when it's time for them to come to me so this is that Sleeping Beauty nausea with that gorgeous new face makeup long wavy blonde hair and she's wearing that Michael Ben fashion that I bought at convention a couple of years ago. It has the bodysuit and the sheer lace with sequins on it. It's beautiful. And this is a back shot of her hair. And the dress does, you know, spread out at the bottom here. And I have her on a fashion royalty uh, saddle stand. So there you go. Miss Naja Rhymes in her blonde pale beauty pale makeup beauty fashion let's see all right and next this is one of my uh grill dolls this is going public eugenia i've had her ever since she came out and i was fortunate to be able to buy her at retail and she's wearing a Vero fashion from one of the conventions a few years ago. I think I want to say it was the cinematic convention. I'm not entirely sure. But look at that gorgeous face she has. And she has had a matching body upgrade since she first came out. She is truly a prize in my collection. So, And I did relax her hair. One time I had her hair up in an updo. And I've taken it down since. And once I get all this stuff unpacked, I'll probably go through and kind of, you know, fine tune and style my dolls. But I just want to give you a close up of her beautiful face. All right. All right. And next we have Miss Splendid Jordan. She has this ruby, like um, black cherry hair color. Long wavy hair. She has some beautiful jewelry. A huge rose. Like a blush colored or taupe. Statement necklace. And the brooch. And then her earrings. Let's see if I can get those to turn around for you. And she has her first stole with tails. And her olive green and black pumps. She is missing a bag. Her bag is olive green and black to match her pumps. And it's like this uh, cream colored linen weave sheath dress that she's wearing. So this was another doll that I was able to buy at retail and I'm glad. So this is Miss Splendid Jordan. And all her beauty. All right, and next, Gold Glam Adele. Gorgeous face, uh, red hair, and she's wearing one of those Pony of Departure Eugenia gift set uh, fashions from the Tropicalia convention and a white fashion royalty bag. I'm not sure which doll that bag came with. I know it was one of the earlier fashion royalty dolls, and then I put some white and yellow bangles on her to match and she has some gold hammered gold hoops on her ears gorgeous doll for right now this is her forever fashion but who knows she is one of the dolls that i do play with and she has the uh yellow sling back pumps on that matches the and it actually came with that fashion so that is miss Gold Glam Adele, and she was ITBE doll from several years back. Okay. Alright. And then next we have our Timeless Adele. She has the 3.0 face, and like I told you guys, she is Chantal in my house, and she's wearing the Bill Blast Barbie dress. And this is a lot of yellow satin, and it has beautiful hot pink lining and hot pink lace crinoline detail and this fabulous black and white bow and then if you turn her around 
this is the back of the dress. It has that stand-up collar in the front. It lays open and it has this rose detail. Huge rose in the back. And um, I think she pulls it off quite nicely. So I'll let you see the way that gown drapes. And that detoff cabinet, she really deserves a whole shelf by herself. But I have to kind of cram her in there with two other dolls because of the limited space. And this is a close-up. She has that side eye. Gorgeous uh, A-tone doll. Gold stud earrings. Locked hair on the sides. And uh, it's kind of full like a mini afro on the top. And she is really a beautiful doll. I did not like the dress she came in. And I thought that this was a much better fit for her exotic looks. And then next. We have a Poppy Parker, gorgeous face, Lemon Frost, I want to say, Poppy, I think that was her name. She was a exclusive from the convention a couple of years back, cute shoes, big huge yellow ring with uh, bracelets here that came with her see her bracelets and this is a shot of her hair from the back gorgeous face gorgeous face so she's part of my African American poppy collection then this one is Rendezvous in Rio. You might have seen her in some of my um, Instagram pictures. Love her curly hair, her like bronze eyeshadow, nude lip, hammered gold earrings. And she's wearing a Barbie fashion. I think this is Cinnabar Sensation. I don't know what I did with the coat, the Cinnabar Sensation, but I thought the colors matched her makeup. And it really looked good on her with the brocade and the skirt being similar colors. And she even has those original shoes that go to this fashion on. And they tie with gold cords around her ankles. And this is a back look. A look at the back of her fashion. And let's do overall look. For her you see the details in that in that skirt is gorgeous the way the bodice laced up the halter bodice all right so that's rendezvous in Rio poppy and this one came from the fairy tale convention I cannot remember her name right now long beautiful braided hair um, she's wearing a skipper fashion actually that came with the knitted sweater and some open toe lavender mules that match that fashion and she has these excuse me she has the pink earrings on and sorry about the uh, camera going everywhere y'all I'm trying to film these videos myself so I don't have my cameraman working with me today he wanted me to be able to do these things on my own so here I am practice makes perfect I have a long way to go but she is a gorgeous doll and I'll show you a close-up of that gorgeous face there she is all right and last but not least we have monogram is that side glance and eye nude lip came in this purple dress all of them um, came in these uh, one came in the lavender dress with this print one came in green and the other one came in a gray print and the shoes match each dress so she has the purple shoes on people really love those shoes and she has the matching lavender belt on 
No, it's a black belt. I'm sorry. Black, dark, gray belt on. Her hair is still in the original set. It's drooped a little bit. I want to say this is passionate monogram. I'm not exactly sure. Let me bring her over here. She's a little washed out. There we go. Better look at her face. There we go. All right. And then we have my mat for Milan Poppy. She is gorgeous. I am a big fan of the new facial palettes. And she is wearing, uh, let's see, she's wearing the bodysuit from a gift set that had Veronique and Adele in it. It escapes my name. And then the skirt, this lace skirt with taupe colors in it and the satin belt with embellishment. That is a Raleigh Lee skirt that he was selling at convention. I think he was selling these things for like $10. And she's wearing some Barbie, like gladiator style heels that also match those colors. They're kind of like a bronze taupe. And then I have her on a pair of FR drop earrings. And her hair is in the original set. Just shot from the back. Gorgeous detailing on that bodysuit. All right. And then we have a Nick, Awakening a Nick. And she she's wearing um, one of the BTS dolls. The ones that recently, I think the first set, they went on sale for five bucks. So I, I bought two of them and I put her in the suit and put a belt at her waist and some platform heels. I think these are Fresh Doll Chunky Wedges and a little bit of silver jewelry and some big bold silver earrings. And love her flock hair and braids combo. Love those purple lips. Her piercing. She's a very striking doll. All right. And this is just something I wanted to try on her. I doubt this will be her forever fashion. But for right now, it works for me. guys thank you for watching and tuning in as I unpack my collection this is the second video in this series and I just wanted to give you guys some up close and personal looks at my collection so stay tuned I have lots more of unpacking to do and I'll see you in the next video bye